If you've ever tried getting into a trading card game, you know it can be incredibly daunting. From the large financial investment with the serious metal level players, down to the casual player only able to get a few packs at a time. Either way you look at it, it can still be incredibly challenging. So I'll be pushing my skills and a bit of luck to their absolute limit to make the best deck I can. The goal is that by the end of one year, I will be able to top one of the largest tournaments in the TCG. So I'm going to stop you right there. We actually did end up kind of already doing that two and a half months in. And there it is. Number four, Battle Ready Inc. We topped a uh, 200 plus event. So I think it's time to kind of reinvent the, the wheel a little bit here on this uh, challenge. And because of that, we're going to take it to the next level. So blue is done. Blue Omnimod is no more, at least for as far as the, the future can tell. So it's time to shift gears. 1.5 is coming out. I think it's time to try red. We're going to see if we can top with every single color before we hit the end of this one year time stretch. We've done it with blue already. We're going to shift into red now and then see if we can progress even further. Using all the same rules that we had from the first time of no buying singles online and only one trade a week with a box opened here on the channel from one of our patrons. Using our $20 a week budget, we're going into phase two of Digimon on a budget. Alright, so don't mind the, the wrong deck there. Uh, but these are the packs we got this week. Uh, it's the last five packs that, uh, that I have um, before getting more uh, packs in on Friday that's when the, the re releases uh, the new releases I should say based off of uh, with, when the, everything got backed up so hopefully they come in this Friday my store's already said that I've got some coming so at the time of uh, recording this uh, packs will be coming out uh, officially finally so definitely looking forward to that uh, but until then this is all we got we didn't have any kind of a uh, win streak last week so uh, it's good that we had just these five packs. I actually stole a pack out of a, another starter deck that I wasn't going to use for yellow um, that I just had lying around. So I stole that pack out just to go ahead and even us up on a, on five here. And that'll be our budget. Uh, we still got a little bit left over. I think we're at like a dollar fifty something left over this week. So hopefully we're going to get something awesome. Again, don't mind the, the wrong deck there. That's for uh, Metal Guru Ramon. Uh, or that's for the blue deck. All right. So first pack here i've got the the metal guru mon sitting on top of the deck this week hopefully it'll bring us some luck and get us a metal guru mon that we desperately need for the deck it would just help out tremendously uh, other than that we're really just kind of not really looking for much else uh we're, we're pretty set up uh volcanic Dramon. So there's just there's not a whole lot we can use. Uh, I think uh, yeah we're we're pretty much good. We we can't pull a Omnimon. Uh, that's impossible uh, with our box unless it's we get doubles. Uh, Trump sword not bad and uh, blue mat just a blue mat. All right. Uh, Trump sword not a bad pull. Not a purple player but it's uh should be worth a decent decent amount at least. Maybe we could get a trade for it or just pluses all around is always good all right second pack here uh, I have been really wanting to, to play green though come on I'm really feeling it I'm really feeling this pack for some reason I don't know why Baby Mon, Shield of Just, and oh, just a Misty Mon. I don't know why I was filling this pack so much. Weird. Not even a super rare. All right, three packs to go. We've only pulled the one secret so far, and that was a while back. So we definitely need to be getting another secret for sure. We pulled two Alt Arts. Of course, the Alt Art Omnimon, and then that the Flower Cannon. 
So, and then the secret that we pulled before was... What secret was that? It was the, the Metal Greymon secret that we pulled. Which, uh, kind of controversy. Some people love it. Some people have just absolutely dominated with it. Whereas uh, others just don't seem to have much luck when they play it. So, I guess it just kind of depends on the deck and the style of play, really. Ooh, Ground Geron. That's a good pull. Uh, got some on. Not bad, not bad. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 there's a Piedmon. <laughs> that was a bit of an accident there, uh, the, the Tyranimon. And then a uh, another Piedmon. This is the third Piedmon we've pulled on the channel. Uh, that's pretty nuts, honestly. So, all right, well, hopefully we can find a good home for it. Uh, still looking for a secret, though. And uh, yeah, so the reason I say find a good home for it is I just don't really have any plans of playing purple uh, anytime soon. So uh, I don't mind trading uh, trading away purple cards, especially if we can get good ones like that that help other players' decks out. And uh, yeah, there's just I don't think there's any commons. We, we've had almost all the commons. Oh, I need a Lilymon, which I believe is a rare. I need I haven't pulled a single Lilymon yet. Uh, we're literally pulling two boxes worth right here, finishing up, and we have yet to pull a Lilymon. Like that's that's pretty bad luck. Lekmon, Lodermon, Shield of the Just, and another Misty Mon. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, this is kind of scary. We only have one pack to go. Last pack, we have not pulled a secret rare. Oh, that's kind of uh, kind of scary. Hopefully, hopefully the secret rare is in here. We'll see. Oh, well, there's definitely something shiny back there, so that's a good sign. A bit of a bit of a heart attack for sure. Nothing like getting a box, an entire box, and not getting a secret rare out of it. Just the worst feeling ever. Okay, come on. Ooh, Gilmon. Come on, buddy. Be, be lucky for us here. Tinkermon. Dark's Claw. Growmon. Oh, come on. Growmon and Gilmon. Alright, Togemon. Uh, so no Lilymon at all. Two boxes worth, no Lilymon. Uh, but what's our secret? Come on, we better be a secret at least. Hercules Kabuterimon. So, not a secret. Not a secret. No secret out of our second box. Ouch. Uh, that's irritating. I mean, to balance it out, that first box, we did pull double Omnimon. In the second box, we got a third Omnimon. So, overall, realistically, we still plussed, but we technically still didn't get a secret rare, which is really irritating. Uh, and then we didn't pull anything that we needed. We didn't pull a Metal Guru Mon or, or anything like that. Maybe we can get some some kind of trade off the Pied Mon. We'll just have to wait and see. Also, editing here, uh, forgot to mention what the trade of the week was. So, the red deck is pretty much on par. Uh, with what we're be the best we could hope for with what we have uh, that's what kind of the reason I had the blue deck out there was just kind of hoping I could get something good uh, for the, my old blue deck just because I pulled the Omnimons out of it so making it work without Omnimon is really difficult uh, so just trying to get some good pulls for it to help it off and uh, so to make up for that uh, the trade this week was for the secret rare Vidramon uh, yeah, so we ended up giving up, uh, I believe it was one of the Millennium Mons, uh, that we've pulled. God, that was a while ago. Uh, the trade was pretty even because it was the Altar Art, so, uh, that, it worked out really nicely. They got, uh, Millennium Mon, and, uh, and I got an Altar Art Vigermon. Alright, so this week, changes weren't absolutely necessary, but I wanted to just try something else. We had the one Metal Grey one that we pulled pretty early on in the previous, uh, season, so wanted to maybe give it a shot as a level 5, not necessarily trying to actually attack into security with this. Maybe if we had a lot of, you know, good buffs underneath it, but without playing the Greymon that gives the plus 2,000 DP, I don't think we're going to be able to get this guy up high enough to attack with. 
So uh, especially without the, the Gigimon uh, egg. So we need that with the Agumon and the Greymon underneath giving him plus 4,000. Then I would feel comfortable swinging into security with him. But as it is, that 9 plus 1 at only a 10 is not really worth it, especially when you're going to lose that 5 memory. So, But he's a very interesting stepping stone to get into that inheritable, that plus 3,000 DP. This will allow us to swing over other Omnimons with uh, just a level 6. So any, any level 6 that we drop on top of this guy, pretty much, uh, depending on what our other inheritables are, uh, with the Agumon and uh, even a Koromon at that point, because the Koromon goes alive, we can swing over pretty much anything big in the game with any level 6 that we have with this guy underneath. So that's the, I just want to try it out, putting him in. I wish I had two. I would probably swap out the other Skull Greymon, although the Skull Greymon has come in handy a few times. Uh, but I would just kind of interest in it until we actually get 1.5 out, just kind of testing things here and there where I can and, uh, and see how it goes. Also, this month's Patreon for uh, the $20 subscribers gets a custom-made, this is the baby form of Vmon, a custom-made memory counter for, uh, for all your games. So this is this month only to get him, and, uh, and next month we'll be changing him out for another memory counter. But yeah, uh, the baby form of Vmon here, uh, it's actually the, the baby form underneath Demi Vmon to be more specific. So, because Demi Vimon is in training, technically. So yeah, uh, definitely check out the Patreon for him. All right, so game one here, playing against Purple. Uh, hard played a, a Vile Mon there. Gave me a lot to work up with. Ramped all the way up into a level five and dropped a level two on field, just to have a little bit of extra uh, in case I didn't have a level six. Uh, I didn't want to just have nothing sitting on field. Hard plays a second Vilemon. That hurts. But puts us at three memory, which is right where we want to be. So we're able to drop that uh, War Greymon there. It's got that security attack bonus there that first turn. Uh, blocks it. And then we drop the Skull Greymon to take out the second blocker. Uh, feels pretty good. Uh, clear their field up. Nothing to work with. We have a nice board presence. Here forced into the Trump Sword. Ouch. Uh, that's pretty uh, pretty brutal. And then uh, just did you evolve up into a yet another blocker? Three blockers. Wow. Uh, don't want to miss this opportunity though. Swing with this massive uh, War Greymon here. Uh, I think we have the yeah. So we've got fifteen thousand underneath him, I believe. Yeah, on my turn. Crazy. Um, here, not really able to do do much, but uh, hard play a, a rookie. So we're going to go ahead and swing again. Definitely should block that because that's uh, two security. And then we just go up into a Ground Germon. Uh, here they drop the Chimera Mon. Although I think it might be a little too late. But not a whole lot else they could do. They go ahead and get rid of the Ground Germon level 5. Just keep us off of a second level 6. Uh, but puts us at enough memory to go ahead and drop into an Omnimon. And not pass our turn which is so huge. Because we can return that War Grave Mon to hand. Come back up. Uh, it's going to be four security checks in total, potentially, here. Uh, and just, I don't even know how much. Uh, 20,000 DP? Yeah, that's pretty not pretty gnarly. Uh, and then it's going to swing a second time. Uh, I like that DP boost on, on the level 6s. On the Omnimon, it's just so unnecessary. Uh, and then we swing for game there with the, with the blocker. Uh, so game 2 here. Looks like I'm going to be the one hard playing the blocker this time around. Uh, I don't want them to get free value off of Tapiermon. They already want Tapiermon to die. But I'm not going to let them get a free security check out of it. Uh, and then I have to hard play a, a Metal Tyranimon. Uh, that's not a good sign. If you ever see a player do something like that, that cannot be good. Uh, here attacking with a Devimon at a security. I don't know if that was a good call. They definitely got lucky at least hitting into nothing. I think Devimon's just too important of a piece. Maybe they thought I was going to block it or something. Uh, and then here, definitely want to block this because I don't lose anything uh, blocking that. And uh, and they'll gain a little bit of memory and draw. Uh, and then they swing with the, the Tapir Mon. Uh, run into an Omnimon. Tells me that I've got one less in my deck. Uh, I think they missed the Tapir Mon draw there, though, right? Tapir Mon draws when it's destroyed. Uh, and then they Night Raid out a. Uh, what is that? Sukai Mon? I don't know. I. 
feels a little awkward to me. I think I would have brought about just another Tapir Mon. I like that draw power. Just the crazy, crazy draw power feels so good. Ah, okay, so they're going to go into a Wizard Mon anyway. So, um, back over to my turn. I got that Metal Tyrant Mon. I need to go ahead and start using it. Get him into, into a uh, Phoenix Mon, which is pretty important. Uh, pretty much can swing over anything that they've got. And then I drop that Omnimon because I've got to clear the Devimon off field. I never like to see a Devimon just sitting around getting uh, value. Uh, not really sure why I didn't block that. Oh, right. Um, let that go through because I didn't want him Digivolving a Devimon on top of the Sukaimon. So I needed to protect my Omnimon. Uh, but then they Trump Sword me anyways. Uh, but thankfully... Uh, the order there worked out, um, so uh, they yeah, they did have that Devimon after all. Uh, there we go, swinging in. I do decide to go ahead and swing a second time here, even with that Devimon on field, just because the Trump Sword in hand could totally be likely. Uh, and then I go, I Gaia Force that Devimon, just because I don't want to lose the Omnimon. Uh, I know he's not swinging for multiple attacks or anything like that, but he is putting in a lot of work. And again, I can run over pretty much anything, so when he does stuff like that... <laughs> Um, you know, it's not much of a threat. Uh, here, he doesn't want to block it just because. And ouch! Skull Greymon there. Get rid of his massive, that massive drop. And then he plays a second one. Like, oh, okay then. Uh, that's pretty brutal. Uh, that D Digivolve effect going to come into into play here. Uh, D Digivolve 2x2, two two, uh, I believe, is what it is. But that's a lot of memory to give us. A lot of memory. Looks like we don't have the, the Omnimon for the, the double attack. Uh, but it's not going to matter here. Because he's going to block one. And then we're going to swing for face with the other one. So uh, take game two as well there. Uh, so match two here. Playing against uh, blue. Good old classic blue. Here we see that uh, double double hammer sparked. So that way they can swing with the Plessiamon after they bring it on field. I don't know what I'm waving my hand for there, but uh, um, revealing nothing. So, and then passes turn, doesn't play anything. Ouch, not good, not a good sign. Um, here, I just kind of build up a little bit of a field. I can't really draw into le any level fives or anything too useful. Uh, they go ahead and swing, and here we go, pass it again we, uh, from one. That that seven memory they just gave up for free. Uh, that's that's huge. I mean, that seven memory could have been a massive drop, and then here they just run into a Gaia Force and and lose it. So that's pretty bad. Uh, here the, another Hammer Spark, and then Horus play a Gorilla Mon. Yeah, they are definitely hurting having to do something like that. Here we swing in, hit into a Hammer Spark. Thankfully, I know I'm playing blue, and I played a lot of blue, so I know not to overextend uh, before I attack with my Digivolutions. And we just kind of swing into everything here, die to a Leomon, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then I go ahead and drop the Omnimon, yeah, on a Gorillamon, just because they have nothing. They they had no rookie uh, to bring out, and then they could kind of just breath me. I just was not going to let them build up into any kind of value at all. So I uh, cleared their board with that Omnimon, that's why I did it. Uh, here we go, swing into our awesome War Greymon. No option cards triggering, and uh, there we go, swing for game, that double security... Uh, security check so nice uh, here they go into uh, Leomon pretty fast get some nice little bit of memory there to work with and uh, they build up a little bit of board uh, here they just kind of start swinging that but they feel the Omnimon's coming down soon uh, with that Phoenix Mon just kind of sitting over there there we go uh, I do want to pause it right quick on that that last play there so they hammer sparked to play the Gabumon, so that way they pass it to my turn, only giving me one memory. However, if you look at my field here, the only thing I had going was I already had the Phoenix on field. Now, say I didn't have the Phoenix on field, uh, that's a good time to put me at one, because then if I have to go into the Phoenix, I've only, uh, that'll push my turn back over to them. However, already having the Phoenix, putting me at one does nothing. It does nothing at all realistically I'm not gonna be able to do too much with that I think saving that hammer spark there might have been the better play uh, and then here we just play a gray mon and, and pass turn after we do a nice little attack uh, here they swing into uh, our virus metal gray mon and then here we go double security check 
we're just doing some work with that Phoenix Mon. Not even really needing the Omni Mon this game so far. Uh, just and then they could Kytus Breath the the twelve back to hand, uh, which honestly does nothing because we're just kind of able to build right back up. Here I need to kind of debate on what I want to do. Do I want do I bother going into the the Phoenix Mon? I don't think so. I think just saving the the memory to go into multiple things so I get a blocker on field just in case you know if you've got three attacks coming here potentially I've only got two or two security left so I've got to uh, protect myself and then putting just a third attacker out there for next turn just so there's just not enough for him to, to be able to block next turn no matter what he does uh, so here you just kind of start swinging with everything trying to bait out my blocker here and then force to attack with his blocker uh, and uh, and then has to just play the the elect mon there if he could have baited my blocker out then you know he could have survived maybe another turn but uh just didn't quite work out that way uh here we go against black here this is match three and yeah so what are we looking at a lot of blockers uh black uh black in 1.0 doesn't have enough offense but oh my goodness is his defense crazy here i think we see a spider shooter there that d digivolve one passes it back to our, our turn our field is getting huge but so is theirs they're getting lots of blockers out there and i just don't want to waste any of my stuff that i can't punch over with uh and there you go into the uh the andromon i've got my phoenix mon out now now i've got just massive dp that there's nothing he's gonna have that can block uh that swing there uh and then get that metal tyrannomon out here we see the war Greymon, uh the war Greymon that's black I love that card. It's so cool. I wish he had a, just 1,000 more DP, unfortunately. Uh, it kind of forces you to play that, the the tie, the black tie that goes with him. Uh, to put him on a par, there we go. Swing over a Millennium Mon in security. Awesome. Just because we're sitting at, uh, what is that, 15, 16, 17,000 DP with a Phoenix Mon. And then hard play the Skull Grey Mon yet again. Get rid of the War Grey Mon. Uh, got no value out of it. Got that whole evolution lineup and didn't get any value out of it. I guess it held me off for like a turn or two. Uh, but look at this massive field I have. Oh, so crazy. Uh, and I just, there's not enough blockers that they have. What they've got, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, here we go. Swing with that uh, security attack plus one from that Greymon. So busted. So busted. Uh, I think, I wish more colors had it, honestly. When I was playing blue, I desperately wanted a security attack, inheritable. That just happened. I didn't need some crazy trigger to, to get to work, like the the Wergarumon. There we go, and then we punch for game. Just we, we just had too much, they couldn't block at all. And uh, so going to game two here. Um, hard played, an Andromon? Yeah, yikes, that can't be good. That was a lot of memory to give me. So I got into a blocker as well into a level five. Uh, and then here we go, we go into the uh, the level six here, uh, Volcanic Dramon, that's what it is. Uh, swinging in here, we've got like security attack plus two, so we're checking three security. Yeah, definitely want to block that for sure. And then we just digivolve into a Phoenix Mon to pass our turn. Uh, here we, oh, we see another Machine Dramon that D digivolve two, two Digimon twice, and then here on my turn, I, I fixed that because I only did it once. Uh, and then we just go ahead and Gaia Force that. And we Gaia Force, and it doesn't pass our turn. That's a nice feeling, is when you can Gaia Force, and you don't have to pass your turn immediately afterwards. And uh, in here, our field is just so terrifying, right? They just, we got so much value off all that Machine Dramon memory that uh, I don't think they could just, they could never recover from that. So now our field's really massive. And then, of course, we punch into a High Andromon, which immediately kills our level six. So while we were kind of getting ahead there just lucky security you know put, puts us right back in a check but uh, I feel like oh yeah Phoenix Mon oh he has jamming awesome dang it <laughs> so uh, yeah black with their jamming surprisingly is kind of uh, kind of nice uh, so there we go we got our uh, our war gray Mon. I'm gonna go ahead and punch in there he's got no blockers on field I think he's what is that like Inferno Mon I believe he has on field Trying to get into, oh yeah, there he is, Diaboromon. We hit Diaboromon in the stack. Uh, and he just, I don't think he could ever get his combos off. I, I guess that was his, his issue here. Again, that jamming, coming in clutch, hitting into a Metal Tyranimon. 
Not a whole lot on field. Definitely got to worry up. He's going to lose next turn if he doesn't try to pull something something off here. Uh, just kind of attacking in, seeing what he can get lucky with. And I believe that's looking back on the good times. Didn't quite get enough value there. Uh, here, going into the Skull Greymon. Oh, right, because we can trigger that security. We get the security attack bonus from uh, Greymon underneath. It's not a whole lot. It's only 7,000. But if we can get lucky, which we do... Uh, we managed to easily uh, clear it up and we take match three. All right, so this week we went undefeated, so we're on a four win streak. If we can win the first two uh, next week, we can get that bonus trade, which will be really nice. Just get those last few uh, 1.0 cards before 1.5 comes out. You know, just picking a few here and there, just setting us up. Uh, we got only 10 likes on the last video, so uh, give, only give us 10 cents. Uh, I, I should be thankful. I guess that's more than we normally get. Uh, but come on, guys, keep those likes coming so that way we can keep getting uh, those bonus uh, bonus pennies there so we can get a, that bonus pack eventually. Uh, currently, Locals is being a little uh, flaky here and there. So going to uh, probably be playing a few just Patreon uh, patrons as well as uh, some of our uh, just my local game players here. And until we can get a, a local scene fired back up full time here, uh, it'll just be a little more casual games, uh, but because of that, again, we're waiting on 1.5 to drop, so that way we can make this uh, red deck way more competitive, because right now I don't want to do any tournaments until we can get that uh, those 1.5 cards, and then we'll jump back into the, the heavy tournament scene. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment, uh, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy this type of content, I try to put it out as much as possible. So definitely subscribe. Also, if you really enjoyed the content, check out my uh, Patreon. I have a link in the description below for it. You can get access to my Discord server, as well as your, if you're a Dragon Village M fan, account takeovers where I help you out with your account. If you're a Digimon fan, I've got monthly giveaway. Well, not even giveaway. I've got monthly merch that's specific to Patreon. Stuff like memory counters, custom made. This is the uh, the baby form of Vmon here. There's going to be more in the works also. So lots of memory counters, all kinds of awesome Digimon merch. So definitely check out that tier. And if you're just all out crazy, there's other tiers if you're that dedicated. Uh, as well as check out my Teespring. I've got awesome merch there, you know, official Battle Ready Ink merch. Awesome phone cases for you Digimon fans out there. Uh, they've got them for iPhones as well as uh, Samsungs. So they are super sweet. If you've seen the, the last Digimon movie, that's where these are from. I had a friend of mine custom make these so that way they fit perfectly on these phone cases. They look super good. So definitely check those out. But at the end of the day, if you can't do any of that, just like I said, like the video. That helps a ton. And subscribe. It doesn't hurt, but it helps me. So that's what's the, the real benefit. And as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs>